So this is what we see in the table. The first thing we see in black here, no solution and pitaron. No solution to what no pitaron? To the terror, you can see in red terror. And parallelly, very significant, definitely in tables. Amazingly, you will see parallel Iran. You can see in black, Iran comes here. Also, very interesting, because Iran, she is a supplier of weapons to the Patah and to the Hamas, Hezbollah. As they believe, according to the Islam, you can see here Islam, which is minimal in the old Torah, unbelievable in the old Torah. You have your Islam in two letters, which is N. The Arabs, they believe in it, and according to what Iran understands and believe, according to the Islam, there is no place for Israel in the world. They have to wipe it out. This was they are not doing the bomb. And 100,000 missiles against Israel. Because according to the belief, Israel is Satan they have to be wiped out from the world because they disturb the Messiah to come, unbelievable. So this is exactly what you see here. So when it is jihad, when it is a holy war, you cannot solve it in politics with two states or three states. They will never be, never be satisfied unless Israel will be wiped out or checked away to Europe back, as they said. Now what you have here also, Amalekite, you can see the word Amalek, Amalek comes here. Yes, this is the evil force. And the evil force which comes to attack Israel when they dedicate the service, when they transgress the Torah, as the Torah, the Torah tells us when Israel came out from Egypt, they were attacked by Amalekite because they desecrated the service. Then also because they doubt Hashem mine and there is God with us or not. Lack of faith, no. So today when you have the new government, when she's really government of the leftist well against the Torah, against the service, as we know, clearly they say clearly they don't want service, they don't want impurity of life and all of this. So no doubt that the Amalekites are far away for leaving Israel. So interesting. So what more we have here, which is most important, is the Messiah. Our Messiah, the Messiah will come. When Jews will repent, they will keep the Torah. You can see the Torah. Torah is like fire. And only then the Messiah will come. Only when Jews will repent, will do tshuva, will keep the Torah. Only then we'll have salvation, we have Messiah, we have happiness and joy. But all the time the Jews unfortunately they the create the Shabbos, transgress the Torah. So they give part to the Samael, you can see here the evil angel who is in charge of the Amalekite. And he's the cause of troubles to Jews. So let us hope that Jews really will do true like the Rambam says. That Messiah will not come unless Jews will repent, will return to God. And as the tractor Sanhedrin, the Talmud says that if Jews will not do Shuva willingly, God will appoint a very cruel leader upon them like Haman in Persia. And today we have Amania. Amania, which is also exactly the same thing, want to wipe out Israel. And what was the solution then? Just did Shuvah, return to God. And this is the solution which can be only, only when Jews will keep the Torah, keep the Sabbath, purity of life, men and women. Only then Messiah will come and happiness and joy will come to the whole world.